The Brandon Peters Show may contain explicit language and detailed plot points. For more information on the show, stay tuned to the end of the episode. Happy 4K Blues Day, everyone. Brought to you by YSOBlue.com. This is the video companion to the podcast. Now, if you are a listener on the podcast, you may have just heard me talk about taking some time off from the 4K Blues Day segment on the podcast. That is not true for the YouTube version, though the YouTube version might be a little sporadic right now while that's off. So it might not be Tuesday, it might be Tuesday and another day. I don't know, but it's all exciting. It's all fun. So just know that. So like I announced on the podcast one, the audio only, that's the one taking a little bit of a break for a couple weeks. This one's staying. This one's fine. I have a light week of things. Tried to make it fill it up a little bit. So it's worth your time. A little giveaway time. Who won hashtag Gladiate Brandon? Well, he tries every time. He pushes. He's always there. He's always helping out. Michael has won. Michael is our gladiator. He is our Marcus Aurelius, our champion. So give it up for him on winning the copy. Congrats, Michael. We'll get that to you. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. We've got another giveaway. Yes. When will this one get its... I don't know. I don't know. But this one is for Total Recall. This is the digital code coming from the new 4K Ultra HD set, which we'll take a look at in a little bit. So, this is another giveaway. I don't know when to announce the winner. Maybe next Tuesday, maybe Friday, maybe Saturday. Who knows? Get it in. This one's easy. Hashtag see you at the party, Brandon. I always like the see you at the party, Richter. Like that line. So see you at the party, Brandon. You want Total Recall? We need to get some people in on this. Let's do this. It's Arnold, Sharon Stone, it's Michael Ironside. Come on, Paul Verhoeven. This is an awesome movie. You want it. See you at the party, Brandon. So, let's move in to this week's. We'll just start with Total Recall, the 4K Ultra HD one. Pretty cool. Also has a nifty little Best Buy Steelbook. I went with this one. There we go. I just watched it the other night. Looks awesome. Really good stuff. I really like the disc art. It's not much, but it's a three-disc set. Picture and sound is awesome on it. They did a real nice restoration job. And the 4K disc has a really cool Corolco Co Company uh, documentary on it about the company that put this out. And they were like the prestige Canon films. Like their stuff was like really good. Like you got like Terminator, Cliffhanger, Total Recall, that type of thing. But yeah, this is a recommend. And it's only $14.99. You gotta upgrade. You gotta pick up Total Recall. Awesome. It's one of the best Philip K. Dick based movies. One of Arnold's best movies, one of Paul Verhoeven's best movies, Sharon Stone, period. It's just awesome. Total Recall. Pick it up. Uh, another one I got. Um, this is new this week. It's the Wolf of Snow Hollow. This is a new one from director and actor Jim Cummings. He directs and is the star of the film. It's also one of the last films of the late, great Robert Forster. Now, this one is a werewolf movie. But it does a nice, really cool blend of horror and comedy. And Jim Cummings, who's on the cover here, he's hilarious. Like, I think he's got some ahead-of-his-time comedy. I don't think everyone's going to like this one right away. I think the humor in it's going to be maybe a little weird. I was on board. This is really unique, new, funny stuff. And it's got some good scares. It's got some good horror. And it's got a really, really cool take on the werewolf genre. So I, I recommend this one. Um, rent it so you know what you're getting into. It's actually not too badly priced week one on Blu-ray. But this is a really cool movie. Seek it out. Um, I also finally got the Coming to America 4K Ultra HD. Pop this one in uh, over the weekend. Look, it's beautiful. It's funny still. Eddie Murphy. But this is the weird thing. Just a 4K disc, man. No standard Blu-ray. Mm -mm. Luckily, all the extras are on here, and it comes with a digital copy. This is a, these Eddie Murphy movies worthwhile pickups. I still need to get Golden Child and Fury and uh, Fury 
and uh, Trading Places. Those, I got them all when it came for review for Blu-ray, but a Weiss or Blue, we split them all out. So you can check out Aaron Neuer's review of The Golden Child. You can check out Adam Burns' review of Trading Places and Coming to America, all on WeissOrBlue.com, as well as my review for Beverly Hills Cop. We teamed up, we crushed it. So I'm still too shy. I need to pick up those two standard Blu-ray on Paramount Presents. Uh, last week, I should have done better. Um, I showed you the Doctor Who set from the UK, the John Pertwee one. So if, reminder. But I didn't compare it to what the United States one looks like that comes out, which is, it pales in comparison. Uh, my son, Logan, who let me borrow his copy for this. Um, so let me show you. So look, they come in a standard MRI. Look at the thin one, too. It's got the back. It's got the bonus features. It's got one of the booklet pieces of art. Um, but when you open it up, there is no booklet. There is no episode guy in the back. And all the discs, they contain the same content. But they're exactly the same. Like, boring. You know, like they used to come with slip covers when the first two seasons came out. They had slip covers, first three actually. When this one started, the no slip covers, and you can see they call it complete John Pertwee complete season four. Whereas on this one, it's just season 10, like it should be. And you also notice the discs have artwork that is specific to episodes, like. They put a lot into this. They are limited in the UK. As far as I know right now, these are not limited. They're mass producing. Look how easy they are. Of course they can keep producing these. So it's a choice that's made. So if you're in the US, I highly recommend going overseas. So these are UK ones region free. It'll play as long as you don't have like a Sony. Those hiccup, there's a, there's a handshake at the beginning of the disc about um, audio menus for people who can't, who are blind. Uh, that struggles with the Sonys. I've heard some Xboxes might struggle too. So as long as you're not playing it on one of those, it should play in the United States. These also region free. So if you're in the UK and you missed out on the the limited releases, you can still pick it up for content. If shelf space is all that matters to you, there you go. Also Doctor Who related. Uh, my last piece of mind. I went for there's a big Eagle Moss sale a little while back, uh, but I pre-ordered this Doctor, Seventh Doctor and Ace collection. Um, got Ace, one of the greatest companions of all time, played by Sophie Aldred. She came in at the end of season 24 in Dragonfire and was there all the way through Survival. And the season 26 uh, trailer for the Blu-ray collection actually brought her back for a nice little catch-up thing. And she also wrote a book, a Doctor Who book this year, called At Childhood's End, which is actually pretty good. It's where she meets the 13th Doctor, and it gets pretty deep. It's got some good, um, you know, PTSD trauma stuff they deal with. It's, it's awesome. And here's the 7th Doctor. It's portrayed by Sylvester McCoy. I believe this was his second outfit where they changed it to a darker coat. But yeah, so I really like that. Mainly, I already had a, the, uh, the original Eagle Moth 7th Doctor, which is this guy right here. See the lighter coat? But when they included Ace, no brainer, no brainer. All right, now my pick of the week this week was The Curse of Frankenstein, the Hammer One from Warner Archive, which I highly recommend. It's a great disc, but I already covered it, I think a couple weeks ago on the show. So uh, check it out and go back to the other video. My review is up on whysoblue.com. I've got a lot of reviews, including the Lord of the Rings 4K set. Haven't done The Hobbit yet, getting there. But those were shot in 4K, so I can't wait to actually look at them. Vintage Pick of the Week. This is big old Dirty Harry set from 2008. Like, I'm a Dirty Harry fan. Um, like Clint Eastwood, his older stuff. He's been doing it too much for me lately, but classic Clint's good stuff. This thing is huge. So it's, let's go through it one by one here. So... First off, we've got this little bookie here. This this has Magnum Force and Dirty Harry in it. Let's open it up. There we are. Got his Magnum. You can see the art in the back. Then we got this little board separating. 
Now we have the Enforcer Sudden Impact in the Deadpool. Which I think the Deadpool is a cool movie. Sorry, haters. It's just fun. I know it's a little lighter hearted, but it's towards the end. You know, it's the last one. But it's a fun movie. It's got a very young Liam Neeson in it. And here we got this hardback book. This goes through, talks about, goes, goes through all these stuff. It's got all his profiles of him and different partners that'll show up about the perps, just different information. Really cool, really cool. And then you get this thing in here box let me open it here we go and in this comes a couple things exciting right watching me open this stuff so you get a personal message from mr clint eastwood in this clear envelope so and then we get these lobby cards that are like got posters on them for you know all of them sorry I'm just... i just magnum force poster i have it up in over there in the corner you can see it it's an awesome poster i like it a lot uh these are like photo these aren't like postcard quality they're much glossier deadpool Got a telegram about just different copies of pieces of information, communications, and letters. Pretty cool. Then we have there's a poster in here. Oh my gosh. I haven't opened this setup like this in a long time. Okay. So, oh, uh, this is Dirty Harry. Yeah, so it's like a map of all Scorpio's victims. So, intense set, lots of stuff. And then lastly, this thing, you open it up, it's a badge. Harry Callahan, little badge. See, I liked it when they did cool little stupid things. In the series that I like, like Dirty Harry, yeah, I could take all this stuff, but I understand. Some bells and whistles, some things too bulky. Some people don't have space. I get it. But, you know, I like this Dirty Harry set. So, I hope you enjoyed looking at all this random crap of mine, too. So, if you're a distributor and you would like to have your stuff featured on this show, hit me up. Uh, mail at brandonpetershow.com. Naptownnerd at gmail.com if you want. Or find me on social media at brandon4kuhd. There's a chance I'm back this week on 4K Blues Day. I have my Vinegar Syndrome Black Friday haul, which I was hoping would be here by now. I might just do a video when it shows up. Also, pay attention to whysoblue.com. My top Blu-rays and 4K discs of the year list are coming out on Friday. I haven't decided whether that's going to be written or a video yet, but lo and behold, I'll drop it here, um, but pay attention. Uh, might come. So that's great. Uh, tomorrow, uh, Old Space Show's back. We're winding down there on the Space 1999 stuff. So hope you're enjoying it. And I'm really excited where we're going next. It's going to be interesting and fun. And I hope you're uh, on board for all the Space Show adventures. This will be back probably next Tuesday. But like I said, could be some random spots. But there's always something coming from the Brandon Peters Show. And I appreciate everybody who watches who comments, who enters these competitions. See you at the party, Brandon. Yeah, hashtag see you at the party, Brandon, for Total Recall. Don't forget, you can win more than once. Do something crazy. It's Total Recall. We can we can do some fun stuff with that one, I'm sure. Looking at you, Ron Brown. Let's do this. And yeah, so thanks again. Appreciate you. And um, always remember to keep the positivity in your online film chatter. Thank you for listening. The Brandon Peters Show is a Creative Zombie Studios production. Produced by Brad Shoemaker and Brandon Peters. Written and edited by Brandon Peters.
Announcer vocals by Jessica Olsman. Theme song by Metavari. Web design and show art by Brad Shoemaker with Brandon Peters. All music and clips featured in the episode are property of their respective studios and no infringement is intended. Additional information on this and other episodes at thebrandonpetersshow.com. For any inquiries, press opportunities, or sponsorship, contact mail at thebrandonpetershow.com. The show is available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or anywhere podcasts are found.